Welcome to our lesson about creating a custom relief. First, let's create a second edge flange. Let's click on Edit Flange Profile now. Apply Smart Dimensions, 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters here as well. Accept. And click Finish to create the flange. Now let's zoom in a bit. Zoom to area. Here we've got a second tear relief type. That's the option we'd chosen in our previous tutorial. Let's see how to create a custom relief. In the Edge Flange Property Manager, let's scroll down and activate the Custom Relief section with a check. Under Relief Type, Tear is selected. We've got two options, Rip or Extend. Let's try the Extend option and click OK. Flatten the part. We can observe a difference between the Rip and Extend options as you can see. Let's edit the feature again. Another custom relief type we can apply is Aub Round. When we select the Aub Round or Rectangular type of relief, we also need to specify a relief ratio. One, tab key to accept. Here's my preview. OK to accept. And let's make some more changes. Instead of relief ratio, we can specify the depth and width of the relief. Let's see how that looks. And let's make some more changes. Right click, Edit Feature. The last option for custom relief type is Rectangle. You can see the preview of the rectangle right here. We can also specify the width and depth. Or if you want to use a ratio, just check this box, Use Relief Ratio. Let's enter a value of, let's say, 2. That'll give us a relief of 2 times the thickness. Let's see how that looks. And here is our modified custom relief. This concludes our lesson about creating a custom relief.